In the time it takes me to say that San Diego County has 94 craft breweries, the number will have changed. Kevin Hopkins, vice president of the San Diego Brewers Guild, says the tally will be at 100 by the end of the year. There's over 40 that are in development, and it is explosive combined growth. We grow by double digits each and every year. Hopkins is also the chief branding officer at Mother Earth Brew Co. in Vista. Vista has 11 functioning breweries. We have two more there in development. And if you look at the data, it actually shows that per capita, Vista has the most commercial breweries in the United States. Of course, you have to take into account that Vista is by no means the largest city in the U.S. But you can't blame Hopkins for bragging. Vista's 11 successful breweries are still something to be proud of, and there are more on the way. The biggest growth and the biggest saturation right now is North County. Bruce Glassman just published the revised San Diego Brewery Guide. We added 20 breweries to this new edition. I think nine or ten of them were on the, the 78 corridor, which is now being lovingly referred to as the Hops Highway. And so between San Marcos, Vista, and Oceanside, we've seen about 10 breweries open up just in the last 12 months. Amanda Elder opened Toolbox Brewing in September in Vista. I think we're thinking really outside the box and trying to put ourselves on the map, so to speak. So rather than doing the same beers that everybody else in San Diego is doing and trying to compete with that, it's how can we set ourselves apart and show San Diego the new side of beer. And uh, what we're trying to do is just kind of stand out, be different. I really see beer moving towards this kind of sour and beer going vintage base where you can actually start aging beer like wines. And our platform of the yeast we use is a very good platform for that. We've been really waiting for, the, for this Guild Fest to really put us on the map and kind of show people down south you know, what, we, what we're doing up there. While Elder tries to raise the public's awareness about Toolbox, Mother Earth enjoys a well-established brand. We're fortunate that we're in multiple states. We're getting ready to expand again. We are known for West Coast style ales. We founded the company on IPAs. We make some outstanding IPAs. Yet our flagship beer, and this is kind of the joke, and this is the thing that we always have to love, the consumer tells you what they want to have. You don't get to pick your flagship. They pick it for you. Cali Creamin, Madagascar Vanilla Bean Cream Ale is our number one beer. And we make more of that than we make of anything else. Tasting rooms provide just one way that breweries can introduce people to their craft beers and bring in revenue. As your own retailer, then you're paying yourself for the product that you're serving. So in that case, certainly you can do well with that, and that may be enough, and there's certainly a lot of breweries that that is good enough for them. The good news for young companies like Toolbox is that most new breweries in San Diego do well. No, extremely well. There's very, very few breweries. I mean, literally single digits that have actually opened and then for some reason gone away. The vast majority of breweries you see stay open. That's true in part because San Diego provides a growing market where local breweries are not competing for shelf space and where there's a sense of collaboration over competition. I think most of the breweries in San Diego in general are very supportive and it's a very tight uh, brotherhood. I'm trying to get it into a sisterhood, but it's a brotherhood. Well, everybody's been sharing hops, sharing grain. I mean, it's a brotherhood. Vista wants to increase that sense of collaboration by creating a business climate specifically friendly to craft brewing. They recognized early on that craft was something that could bring in a, not just a, a revenue base for the city, but it brought exposure because Vista is talked about all over the country. Every time a medal is garnered at some competition, Vista is put back on the map. Hopkins doesn't think Vista or San Diego is anywhere near reaching a saturation point for craft beer. I kind of always say they don't call it Silicon Valley because they limited the number of tech companies that come into it. The reality is, is as long as you make a great product, then the consumer is going to dictate how large we can grow. And if you make a great product, people will come. They show time and time again that they're willing to go as far as they need to to get that which they want. And if Guildfest is any indication, people want San Diego craft beer and are willing to come from around the globe to get it. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.